Good morning, wonderful friends. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus this morning. It is so good to spend time in the Word early in the morning. It's exciting. Um, I just want to share a message with you this morning that God wants you to be free from the worry of things. The things of this world are a big distraction. And the reason why God wants you to be free from the worry of things and the cares of this world is because He wants you to be focused on what He has in store for you. And that is regarding your call and purpose in this life. When you spend so much time worrying about having stuff and needing stuff, then you cannot be occupied about the Father's business and the things that God has planned and purpose for you. So God has made it extra clear so that you would know that He understands your need. God knows what you need at any given moment in time. I'm a living testimony of this. God even heard your prayer years before you asked it. Years ahead of time, He has made provision for that specific need. All that He wants you to do is have the courage to ask Him. There's this parable that Jesus shared where Jesus said that of the, of the one friend that went to his, to his other friend in the middle of the night and he knocked on the door and he says, Friend, do you, do you not have a bread for me to spare? Because a friend of mine has come a far away and I have nothing to put forth for him. And Jesus said, Would that guy not give him what he needs because he is, friend? He is his friend? No, he, he gave him what he needs because he had the audacity to ask him. Now, that is... <clears throat> I do not want to take this scripture out of context from what it was written in and the message that God wants to bring across. But sometimes there are a little bit of nuggets here and there in between. And there is so much that you can get out of the Word by just reading it and spending time with it and meditating upon it day and night. And what I get from this parable is that Jesus wants you to ask. He wants you to ask. This guy merely gave him what he wanted because not because he, they are friends, but because he had the audacity to ask. And that is because this man had the confidence that this guy would actually give him what he asked. And that is the same kind of confidence that we need when we come to God. That we have confidence that he will answer us when we do pray. All that God wants us to do is initiate it with him. That we would not be so full of desire and wanting stuff all the time. But we would share our desires with Him. And get into fellowship with Him in the process. And if it's an earthly and ungodly desire. That God would take it out of you. That God would take this need out of you. If it's not from Him. But God can basically give you everything that you need. If it is from Him. And that is why it is very important when you come to God, come to God when you do not have idolatry in your heart. Make sure there is no idols in your heart. Because when you, when you have idols in your heart, your confidence in the Lord's ability and His love for you is eroded. And you come to God with idolatry, you have sin consciousness and all kinds of wicked things. That pull you away from Him. Come to God in confidence that He has the ability to take away those desires if it is not of Him. And that He would replace them with godly desire. Because if you are intimate with God, there is no way you can remain the same. And there is no way that you would ask the same. Sometimes the Lord just wants you to spend time with Him. Don't be afraid to ask the Lord about that issue you are facing. Because you release the care of it unto Him. I wanted to tell you this because there is so much things to worry about in this time. I'm not ignorant of the fact that we have economic collapse staring us in the face. And 
we're wondering if are you ever going to have that thing that you were praying for my friend your circumstances does not limit God to answer your prayer in fact even more so because now you don't have a choice but to trust God for that very thing that you need or ask for God is even more able because your confidence and your trust is replaced by your ability to produce that thing or to go to the bank and ask for a loan or to do everything that you can to make this thing happen and let the Lord do it for you release that care into his arms and let him take care of it because he loves you there is no way that God will not answer that prayer if you only have the audacity to ask him because you understand that he is good and that he cannot go back on his word. So I love you and I leave you in the name of Jesus.